In olden days, dishonest farmers would try to cheat their customers by putting cats in a bag and pretend they were selling young pigs. But, but it doesn't sound like a pig. Oh, oh, it is. It's a nice little pink book. Mm. <laughs> but it sounds like a cat. Oh, no, it's just a little confused, isn't it? It'd make a lovely bit of bacon. Imagine eating that in the morning. Mm. Mm. Bacon, just half a crown for you. Oh, all right then. Unwary buyers wouldn't check what was inside until it was too late. But once the cat was let out of the bag, the secret was out. For centuries, gentlemen have traditionally made after-dinner speeches. I was wondering, Mr Thomas, if you'd like to say a few words a little bit later. When thoughts flew into their minds, they didn't always have paper to hand, but their detachable shirt cuffs came in very useful. <coughs> My lords, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't prepared a speech, but... Um, <laughs> yep. It's been a wonderful evening. Thanks very much to our hostess, Lady... Uh, Connie? <clears throat> so when anyone is asked to speak unexpectedly, we say it's off the cuff. Uh, arc. Right. A lot of people think the phrase mad as a hatter comes from the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but it doesn't. The origin is much more gruesome. Oh, I need some air. I've been in this cramped room far too long. I'm starting to feel quite peculiar. Hat makers have been associated with madness since the early 19th century, when they used mercury to make felt, which they turned into fashionable hats. At the time, no one knew that mercury was extremely poisonous, and after breathing in the fumes day after day, it caused madness. That's why people who do silly things are said to be mad as a hatter. Ever wonder about the saying, in the limelight? Before electricity, spotlights were created by burning lime in an oil or gas flame. The light created turned the actors a green colour, so when anyone was taking centre stage, it became known as being in the limelight. And what about that strange saying, break a leg before a performance? If the show was a great success, there'd be many curtain calls and rather too much bowing and curtsying, which was hard on the actor's knees. So, to wish a performer a successful show with lots of encores and bows, people say break a leg. Oh, there's so many other phrases as well. We there's can, so many. You can keep going all day, but we better go because life's not a dress rehearsal. <laughs> Absolutely. Well,